The North Country Trail, NCT, is one of America's national scenic trails, stretching over 4,600 miles from New York to North Dakota. Over 1,800 miles of the trail are currently certified off-road, with more coming off-road all the time. Additional miles are on roads, and some use shared paths. The trail couldn't exist without the dedicated work of numerous volunteers. Last year, I had a small part in flagging a new connector trail between High Bank Campground and the North Country Trail. Today, I join other members of the Western Michigan NCTA chapter, and we build this half-mile long trail. What you see around me is our group for laying out the new connector trail between the High Banks Campground and the North Country Trail. What you're doing is you're bringing them down just deep enough that you're just knocking the top of this stuff away. Just a little practice. They keep swinging for a while and eventually you get it. And you're just basically giving the forest floor a shave. Again, if you start doing this in our soft soils around here, you end up building a soft set trench. It looks like a horse trail when you're done. Um, you can go across, you can go this way, whatever, but the bottom line is when you're done, it should be about two of these wide. Okay? Or if you garden a lot, it's basically how you're going to use your garden hoe. It's just a lot bigger tool. Watch out for your feet. That's why you wear the boots. This is the fire rake. It's the first step in trail building. We use it to remove the duff at the forest covering leaves and loose dirt. We use this to clear the pathway in preparation for the other tools, for the people wielding McLeods, and in some cases even Pulaski's. This is perhaps the least glamorous job because we're not actually making the tread with this, we're just clearing the path. But it's a necessary job. This is a McLeod. It's used for getting the sod and the sticks and actually building a good surface for walking. The chainsaw. Right now, we're lazy. Of course, they're not really lazy. Sometimes the chainsaw is the tool for job. Cutting through logs, especially logs of oak, which are common in this area, with a bow saw, let uh, alone just a single-handed saw, would take considerably longer. So, if the chainsaw is permitted, and you have certified crew, Sometimes it really is the best tool for the job. These are binocular binoculars. There he is. Oh. Here, hang, hang on to it right there. Oops, oh. He's right there. Yeah, I see him. There, there you go. See. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, nice. What do you get out of doing this? Why do you build trail? Well, it's useful. I mean, it's sort of something for other people to use. I use the trails all the time. It's only right to build some for other people. Plus, it's a great excuse to get outside during an absolutely beautiful day. Hi, my name is Stephanie Black, and I love building trail. Um, usually, you'll find me in the kitchen cooking for the different organizations' functions. But I like building trail because I like being outdoors. I like um, coming back in future years and showing my niece and nephews what I worked on. It's something that's going to stay for a very long time. and. It's a good, good thing to do, and it's great to be outdoors. Over the course of just four or so hours, a group of 17 people, which shrunk a little bit near the end, built this half-mile-long trail connecting the High Bank Lake Campground to the North Country Trail. It shows what a few people and a lot of determination can do. Trail should be a very good trail. In fact, it only took 
couple of hours after we finished it before the first couple and their dog used the pathway to walk from the North Country Trail, they started at Nichols Lake, to the High Banks Campground. The paint on the blazes hadn't even dried before the trail saw its first non-builders trail use. It's not hard to take part in activities like this. Get in touch with your local trail maintenance club to help build trails and have a wonderful time. I want to thank the Western Michigan chapter volunteers for letting me film them. I'm Ken Knight. 